beautiful. That doesn't give you that part, you know? Yeah. What was the, um, so you had gone through a series of ketamine therapy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, uh, I did the TMS, the, uh, because I was looking to at the last time I was here was, was like that last transdermal August. magnetic Trans stimulation, magnetic stimulation okay. and which worked. That and then the problem was, and I think I don't know if I talked about it on here or not. I H someone gave me some HGH. Did I tell you that human growth hormone? Yeah, basically. So I did TMS, which is transcranial mag magnetic stimulation, forty-five sessions. It worked great. Like it literally, How long I does stopped it take? taking. It takes like thirty-five minutes. And they just put like electrodes on you or yeah, something. Yeah, I think I have video. Um, they put uh, they put um, they yeah they put video on. <laughs> uh, I'm looking. Chris Rock t sends me every single uh, uh, rape thing. Oh my god! Every, Everything that comes out. Every single every page six. Every, literally, he sent me Why probably twenty five of these. I don't know. It's just like a thing now because then we go like, <laughs> it's just like literally, it's just like a ticker. Dude. It's so fucking funny. There's so many guys. Mario um, Batali. And, yeah. And by the way, the more salacious they can make these stories, the better. They were talking about some room that Mario would take people up to on the third yep. floor is the rape room. Yeah. I'm like, what in the fuck? Oh, you there know what you makes are, me dude. laugh is the, There's oh, you. you have it. Yeah. The, uh, you know what makes me laugh is the, um, the pictures of Louie got progressively worse and worse. Oh, the ones they could find? <laughs> yeah. No, like the New York Times, I was waiting for them to just put up a picture of Lee Harvey Oswald. It's like he's fucking, it's, you don't have to find the shittiest, the guiltiest looking picture. Well, there's fucking... so much video of him beating off, <laughs> like air beating off, yeah. you know? P yeah. Play that video. Like, is this, this is you going I, through the treatment? Is this from the last time I was here or this is online? Yes, from last time you were here. Yeah. Um, and... Wow, look at that, man. Yeah. Give me some volume. You're probably him and talking then, about so it. So I went to this. Whoa, dude. That sound is like an MRI sound. It's an yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. It is. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's right. We yeah. talked about it the last time yeah. we were here. Um, the, uh, but, okay, so then the problem was after that I did HGH. For Someone gave me some HGH. And I was like, yeah, I'll fucking take it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll take HGH. I'm always looking for the, an advantage. And I started having panic attacks. From HGH? Yes. Which is a it's a narrow side effect, but it's one of the side effects of HGH. Basically, it like supercharged my whole system. I started having panic attacks on stage. Whoa! I had a panic attack the night before I taped three mics. What? I couldn't go on stage. Spade was supposed to bring me on, and I told Adam, I was like, I can't go on. I literally couldn't breathe. Whoa! Yeah. The so, night before yes, you filming, it was what a so, mind And then fuck. I just, I thankfully, but you didn't, killed it. Yes, I thankfully didn't get one that night. Like, oh my god, uh, dude, <laughs> trust me, trust me. And then I, and then I had anxiety for months. Literally, like, just like when people say I have anxiety, I'd never had anxiety. I was like, I'm not an anxious person. I wouldn't even know what that's like. Wow. It's fucking miserable. Wow. It's to me, it was worse than depression because. You're agitated and like you just feel like static. It just was like a static mm. over your body. It was like you're you just have like this like cortisol snow in your and it sucked. So I went back on uh, on uh, Zoloft um, to, and then it ended the anxiety. Now, but you were trying to get yourself off of that. Yeah. Stuff, so now right? I'm gonna go. I'm I'm back on. I just stopped taking Zoloft like two weeks ago. How do you, you feel? Can't. I feel actually really good because. Oh, here's what I didn't say. I also microdosed. Do do do. Uh, while I was on Zoloft, I microdosed shrooms, uh, like three times. Yeah. Which is actually like pretty fun. Yeah. It's super fun, but it's like not. Daunting. It's not. You're not like. It's not trippy. Right. You're not like. You just feel really good. Yeah, yeah. You just feel good. Uh, I did that three times. I did LSD once, and I. Th I'm thinking. Of, so now I'm going off, and and an interesting thing happened when I microdosed. I got significantly less angry, just as like an operating principle. Mm. Like I was just like, oh, I'm less angry. Like I just didn't feel as like snappy and shitty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, for a long, for like, in, like in a, over a big period. I got a buddy of mine who's a world champion kickboxer. He mm -hmm. microdoses and he fights on it. Fights high on mushrooms. 
Do they test for it? Or nope. they, it's just... Nope. That's funny. Fucking people up while he's on mushrooms. That's great. And, I mean, better than he's ever looked in his past. He said he could see things coming before they happen. Yep. He said he literally feels like he's got some sort of psychic ability when he's sparring. Like he sees what guys are doing. And if you watch him fight, he just looks way sharper than he's ever looked before. Yeah. And homeboy's doing mushrooms. Yeah. Daily. And that's the... So I've been... I've stopped taking so long because you can't... Uh, you can't be on it and do Ibogaine. Oh, Cause you, interesting. Because you can... Uh, you risk serotonin syndrome, which is like it, right. too much serotonin in your body. Or no, nah, yeah, yeah, too much serotonin. Well, so, you were the first guy to tell me about 5-HTP before we even started selling it at yeah. all. Before we started having yeah. new mood, you were telling me about 5-HTP. Yeah. And that you were Sandy that. Danto told me about it. No shit. Yeah, because um, I... He sold me some ecstasy and he was like, yeah, and also... <laughs> take this the next day and I was like okay. and then I like researched it and I was like oh I should just take so I still take that 5 HTP I think it's good for weight loss really um, it like I, when I take 5 HTP I'm just not hungry um, hmm. it like that was the other sort of weird side effect of the microdosing. my appetite went down like significantly across the board I wonder how much of the appetite is not really how much food you need but rather you need something to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, or it's just a, like, at this time of day, I do this. Mm. Um, yeah. But I ended up like losing 10 pounds. That's interesting. Me, like from 150, guy. from I've lost 12 pounds, from like 159 to 147. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but it's not like, uh, not starving myself or anything. Right, like, you didn't eh. feel uncomfortable. No, not at all. Huh. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. Do you monitor your diet? Are you do you, are you eating healthy? You yeah, know? like I got my blood tested probably three months ago, and yeah. everything was good. Do you are you eating sugar and bread and things like uh, those? Things? I've eaten. I've stopped. Uh, I've eaten. I used to be a big dessert person, and I kind of just like I think the mushrooms might have made me just go like, eh, you yeah. don't need that. You don't. Um, you really and don't. sugar, you know, the thing with sugar is you don't eat it for three days. If you don't want it. Right. Like you just, your body doesn't like, you got to fucking get us some sugar. You're just like, eh, well, once, I'm good. Once you cut free. Yeah. yeah. And especially if you're really conscious about what you're eating in terms of like probiotics and things that sort of, uh, help the landscape, the biome landscape and make sure you've got healthy things in there. I think that's. So significant, and the more researchers that I talk to, and the, the more people that are nutrition experts, to start talking about your uh, gut biome and how important it is to take the proper probiotics. Yeah, I think it affects your personality. I think it affects your immune system. I think it affects virtually the path of your life that you take, depending upon what foods you eat. It has a different effect on how you live your life. Well, that's meditation does the same thing because you're like you get a feeling from meditation. And then you're like, do I want to spoil this right. with like garbage thinking or behavior? Like, right. let me just try to bring a bit of that into yeah. my everyday. Yeah. I mean, that's the tank for me. Yeah. The, the tank is to I me. literally forgot about tanks until you, and I'm like, I live like a block from Float Lab. You got to go. Like I, I went, I went, I think you must, how long have you been doing this? 2002 was the first time I got one. I, when did I tried you, it when did you start doing the podcast? I think you told me about it. You told nine, me about it. I nine. went to Float Lab, had the thought in the, in the tank, you got to love something. <laughs> Literally, that was the thought I had, and, and then I got a dog. <laughs> Literally, like so I was like, I fucking yeah, like that that I like that shit. Like, and I just forget that it exists. The tanks, yeah. yeah. I think they're giant. I think it's like one of those. It's it's one of those things that requires you to block off a chunk of your time. So if you're a busy person, it's hard to yeah, it's hard to pull that off. But I think it's like one of the most important things you could do. How often do you do it? Well, I haven't done it in a long time because I I took the one out of my basement and I had it installed here. Got so it. it took me a few a few times off, and we just got it put in two days ago. So I haven't even been in it. So I haven't been a tank at all in three months. Oh well, two months, two months, something like that. How often Somewhere? do you think you'll do it now? A couple days a week. A couple days a Great. week is good. If I can give myself two days a week, I'm happy. Do you ever go in and just think about your daughters? Yeah, 
Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is it so? It's not. I don't like have a plan. Right. Right. Sometimes I have a plan. Like maybe I'll have a bit that I'm trying to work out, and I just like this bit is just clunky. There's a part of it that's clunky. I'll smoke some pot and climb in that tank and think about it. There's a in the in the the there's like a pre fucking syllabus for the ibogaine, and it's like you need to come with questions. Ooh. For ibogaine, whoa! For sweet lady ibogaine, whoa! And it's I'm like I have to. Re and then a friend of mine was like, "Can you ask a question for me?" <laughs> it's like no, I don't think that's legal. I keep be like, "Hey, so uh, Lucy, <laughs> so, Lucy needs advice." So on her new Lucy's book, man. curious about what's going on with her feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, but I'm like looking forward to asking. Asking uh, big questions. Although I got to say, the last year has been very revealing for me in terms of like what what's important. 